the lab number 18 the mixed AD oscillator in this lab we're gonna we're gonna make a open an uh, existing mixed AD circuit that we're gonna use the DSTIM U4 7404 uh, 74107 and 7417 arrange the circuit as shown in the figure so this gonna be the circuit as we have it used the uh, library in the previous labs we're gonna use all those the uh, components now use all these libraries and like source stm like dg stim1 implement as a reset so we just gonna be the reset pulse given to the 7405s 7405s are just the buffers and this lab's main thing is that the analog signal and a digital signal will use the common x axis this will be the digital signal with the 100 hertz frequency 0.50% duty cycle so it will be like a So zero 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 one in each. So this is a, like a pulse at ninety percent. Uh, the pulse will be off, and only point one percent the pulse is on. Initial value is one. So we have configured that, that signal. Now we are gonna connect uh, that reset pulse. So in between, at the end of the cycle, the reset pulse is given. keep the voltage point node voltage markers so what we're gonna do with this this is just an uh, analog oscillator and we will analyze the both the signals on same x axis so reset pulse output from the all the u u2 u3 u4 u5 <laughs> and u1 is the jk flip flop so run time will like we run for 10 seconds and the configuration in the options we have to change the gate label simulation first to connect the dot stl file for the dstim this is the dot stl we have to search it but that's going to be the signal source dot stl now like add to the profile Again, try. Just scroll down, select over here only. Add to profile. So automatically connect add to profile. So that means that our dot SDL file is connected to our main project manager. Now we need a voltage marker over. which we, we are interested to see is the voltage at the C1 of 1 R1 of 1 and a U1 of 1 and the clock so let's see so this is the reset pulse output pulse coming and the U2 of A 